On today's episode, we're talking about air sealing where your framing meets your foundation. I'm visiting another builder's job site today and one of the questions he had for me was, how can I do a better job of air sealing my houses? As I looked around, I saw two really obvious things that I wanted to mention to you that I think might help you for air sealing your houses. First, let's talk about how most houses in America are air sealed. And in particular, we're talking about this joint here where the framing meets the concrete foundation. Most houses have this product in between there. This is called sill sealer. And this is meant to be a capillary break first and then an air seal break second. So this is underneath our bottom plate here. And as the framing crushes this down, it's gonna air seal a little bit, but it's not a perfect air seal, especially because our concrete's gonna have some imperfections. It's not gonna be perfectly smooth across there. So first let's talk about how to air seal this on the inside. This is gonna be the least cost method. And really anybody could do this with any house that's under construction. First option is to use some caulk in this location. We're gonna use Dynaflex 230. This is a really high quality caulk that's gonna stick both to the wood and the concrete. And we're gonna lay a nice fat bead right here in this joint. This is a good inexpensive way to do a good air sealing job at this joint. Another option that's gonna be a little bit more expensive but will do a little better job is to use some air sealing tape. Sega makes a tape called Wig Love, and this is a particularly good choice wherever we're sticking to concrete. This is gonna stick without a primer, although certainly we could use a primer, but if we're going on the inside, we don't necessarily have to. The outside is probably the more important of the two places to air seal, but it is a little bit more expensive to do on the outside. I've got two tape options for you out there. Number one is Delta Multiband. This is a product that I use in conjunction with a lot of Delta waterproofing products and it's made to be part of their system. I really like this tape. You wanna use a primer no matter what exterior tape we use though, because I, I think with the outside, we've got more exposure to the elements. We've got changes in heat and humidity and temperature. So we wanna use a primer. We're gonna be using Delta's HF primer. I'm gonna run a couple beads of tape to protect the foundation. And I'm only gonna prime the first two inches of the foundation on the outside. And then I'm also gonna run that primer up on the framing as well and run it on top of the shear wall. That way I've got sticky on sticky and this Delta multiband is gonna to stick to one other option on tape, if you're not using Delta products, is Siga on the outside as well. This is a new version called Fentrum that they say will stick even better than their wig love tape. I found this to be very impressive. I still want to use a primer though. I feel like it's the best practice on the outside. When you get to the wider tapes, like the six inch version, it's got a release layer that's split. So now we can stick it to the concrete first and then roll it up the outside. Hey, for more on air sealing and other best practices, visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. Otherwise, I'd love to have you following me on both Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.